hello, 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 Instagram, hello, Instagram, hello, Instagram, hello, 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 Instagram. Hey guys, how are you all doing? How are you all doing? Hey, Latrice. <laughs> Hey Latrice, hey Latrice, I've been missing in action. I'll be back. I'll be back when things settle down a bit. But I've I've been good. I know you've been good. I've been seeing you around, around these clubhouse streets. <laughs> it's good to see you, Latrice. Uh alrighty. I'm doing one scholarship a day as usual. So yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Hey you guys. How are y'all doing? Welcome to One Scholarship a Day. Welcome to One Scholarship a Day. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Instagram. And hello, Clubhouse. Welcome to One Scholarship a Day. Welcome to One Scholarship a Day. Today is... Oh, Lord. What's the date of today? Today is um August 30th, right? Today is August 30th. And uh, we need to get to the scholarships. We need to get to the scholarships and uh see how we are going to get our studies funded what scholarships are we going to be applying for and uh how are we going to be applying for these scholarships are we going to be coming up with scholarship application plans how are we going to be doing it so that is what we are going to be talking about today okay of course on one scholarship a day i make sure i bring you a new scholarship i make sure i bring you a new scholarship that you can apply for because uh sometimes studying in studying abroad studying in different not sometimes but all the time studying abroad is expensive right it's expensive to go to some foreign country and get your studies uh or pay for it be able to afford it so hello kevin on clubhouse welcome hello sufi welcome on facebook i'm not sure who is there and on Instagram, I'm not sure who is there, but I can see Omar, Omar joined. I see Nessie joined. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me on One Scholarship a Day. How are y'all doing? It is, it is the last days of August. Oh my goodness. It's crazy how fast uh, time is going by. Oh my goodness. Wow. August is almost over. And here we are. September is here. And when September... September, October, November, we know we are already heading to the end of the year. It's crazy. Alrighty, let's get to our one scholarship for the day. For those that are on Clubhouse, if, of course, if you have a question, you want to chit chat, always feel free to raise your hand, come up on stage, and we are going to talk. For those on Facebook, always feel free to put your questions or comments in the comment section, and I'm going to get to your questions. For those on Instagram, also put your questions in the comment section, and I am going to answer you all, okay? Alrighty, so let us start. Uh, hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Sylvie, and I am the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students, and we prepare students to apply for scholarships. We do that through group classes, through one-on-one -on -one classes and through standalone services so if you are a student thinking about studying abroad thinking about studying in different parts of the world please feel free to go to the website learn how to get this scholarship.com you can book and we are going to work with you to help you apply for scholarships in different parts of the world and also you guys i have a youtube channel and on the youtube channel i also curate scholarships for international students and i always tell you all there is a series on the youtube channel called top 10 series and on that series i discuss just fully funded scholarships fully funded scholarships why because if it wasn't for a fully funded scholarship, I wouldn't be where I am. A fully funded scholarship changed my life. And I think that if you get a fully funded scholarship, it can go a long way in order to put certain good things on your way in life. And it's really going to help propel you to different places. I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for a fully funded scholarship. So I'm grateful to it. And I try to give you all the information so that you all also can get fully funded scholarships. So when you go to the YouTube channel, first thing, subscribe number two uh watch those watch that top 10 series that is i really recommend it watch it take notes and start coming up with your scholarship application plan coming up with a scholarship application plan is you looking at scholarships that the deadlines may have passed if the deadlines have passed that is okay put those scholarships on your list of scholarships and prepare to apply for them next year because this is us already at the end of august 
September is already here. Time goes by so quick and you have so many things to do when you're going to be applying for scholarships. I always say that my sweet spot is that you start preparing at least one year ahead of time. So you all go ahead and check it out. When I talk about scholarships in different places, I always say, come with a pen and a paper, take notes because you're going to need it. But on one scholarship a day, I don't require you to come with a pen and a paper or take notes because I'm going to tweet out the links to the scholarship. I'm going to tweet out the links to the scholarship. So everybody, if you do not follow me on Twitter, definitely for those on Clubhouse, tap, tap my face, scroll right down to the end of the page. You're going to see the link to my Twitter. And for those on Facebook and Instagram, please do it to look for my Twitter. It's actually just my name. Uh, Sylvie Watikum, go and follow me there because you are going to find the links to the scholarship. Our one scholarship for today, uh, August 30th, I'm going to tweet it out. But I started one scholarship a day on May 19th this year. So from May 19th this year till today, I have been talking about one scholarship a day and tweeting out links to different scholarships. So if you just sit back and scroll through my Twitter feed, it is a great resource with links to different scholarships and you can just go through it and you're going to see so many scholarships and see if you're going to be applying for them or not, okay? So you all definitely go follow the Twitter account. And then the second thing that I usually do on one scholarship a day is because people always reach out to me asking me questions about is this the website of the scholarship? And I'm like, no, that's not it. From experience doing this for such a, for, for quite some time now, I decided that I take a screenshot of the official page of the scholarship and I put it in my Instagram stories. So you all definitely go follow me on, on Instagram and check the stories because on the stories, you can now compare the picture of the official page of the scholarship with the link that you're going to tap on, on my on my Twitter feed. Now you can compare to make sure that, double check just to make sure that you are on the right scholarship page. Alrighty, with all of those house rules set, for those on Clubhouse, feel free to tap the house above my head. Go and join, become a member of the Study Abroad Club. We are going to keep growing this club here on Clubhouse. Thank you guys so much for being here. Alrighty, let's get to our scholarship for today. Let's get to our scholarship for today, August. August 30th. Oh my goodness. It's crazy to believe that August is, is already over. So our scholarship for today is the University of Lausanne scholarships. It's called the Master's Grants in Switzerland for foreign students. The University of Lausanne Master's Grants in Switzerland for foreign students. So this is actually a scholarship at the University of Lausanne and it's at the master's level. So these are for those that have had their bachelor's degree. If you've had your bachelor's degree and you're thinking about going to do a master's and you're considering Switzerland as a study destination, this is definitely a great scholarship for you to consider, okay? The deadline Line is the 1st of November 2021 so if you're going to be applying for it you kind of still have some time not a lot of time but at least you have some time to get your things together because you're going to be rushing through dime in it right so and you're going to start if you apply right if you apply through this deadline you're going to start your program in Switzerland on in September 2022 in September 2022 that is when you are going to start your program in Switzerland okay so just giving some background Background. I always tell you all it's always extremely important that you read the background of a particular scholarship because scholarship is not just charity you guys it is not just charity when it's given by governments governments are trying to build soft power when it's given by various organizations they have goals they have things that they want to accomplish and you are the tool for them to accomplish that particular goal so you need to make sure that as you when you read the background of an organization you read the background of a scholarship it gives you an idea of am i a good fit for this scholarship because sometimes there are Tons of scholarships out there, but not all is for everyone, right? You need to always make sure that whatever scholarship that you choose, you are a good fit for. And you can justify why you are a good fit for that particular scholarship, okay? So, there are just a brief description of it. It says the University of Luzon in Switzerland offers... Uh, the master's grant on a competitive basis to international students who wish to pursue a master's degree course at their university. So if you are going to be applying for this scholarship, you also need to be applying to the University of Luzon. You need to be prepared to be a student there and you need to be prepared to do your master's degree there, okay? Alrighty, so 
this is very good they say that they are actually covering all fields offered there's the scholarship covers all fields offered at the university except <laughs> except those that are doing a master's in the school of medicine masters of education masters in law masters in criminal law magistracy specialism masters in science in physical education and sport didactics masters of science in health sciences and then they have these programs called the MAS programs, okay? I think those are like PhD programs. So those are the programs that the scholarship doesn't cover. Apart from all of those, medicine, education, law, criminal law, physical education, health sciences, and PhD programs, the university, uh, the scholarship covers all other courses offered at that particular, at the University of Luzon. So as a person who is going to be applying for this scholarship, your first job, of course, is to get the link to the scholarship. Yes, that is extremely important. And then secondly, start looking into what is the application process to the University of Luzon. If you, all, all applications, you start with the university's website, you see where they talk about admissions and then you see the timeline then it starts giving you information about the process to apply to a university and when you apply to a university you can now apply for this particular grant okay for master's students because this scholarship is going to cover your entire master's program alrighty let's get ahead so it says this is a scholarship for international students international students so if you are from any part of the world you can apply for this scholarship and I always tell you all that I'm always interested in bringing you all scholarships that cover that is actually for people from all parts of the world for me that is that is important because I know that we there is a diverse audience there are that is sometimes I always tell you all if you are searching for a scholarship come chit chat with me tell me what you're looking for because as I do my research I always try there there are to, so many scholarships but some of them are for specific countries right some of them are targeting students from specific countries but when i bring your scholarships on one scholarship a day i always select those ones that is for like people from all parts of the world to make it as inclusive as possible okay so this is actually a scholarship for all international students from any part of the world to apply for it there are 10 slots you guys <laughs> this is where it begins to get tricky there are 10 slots so you can hear the competition 10 slots from for people from all parts of the world oh okay so you need you need you need to remember that you're going to have to put your best foot forward if you're going to be applying for the scholarship all righty let's get to the money let's get to the money because i'm always like okay i hear all of this but how much are we talking about though right that is <laughs> if you've been following me on wherever when i talk about scholarships i'm always like yeah how, how much are we talking about all righty so let us see how much it is it says the scholarship is granted for the minimum statutory period of the program chosen by the student it amounts to 116,000 CHF per month from September 15th to July 15th so a 10 month program towards the completion of the masters one and a half years or two years depending on the masters chosen with the exception of cases of definitive failure after the first year students offered a scholarship will be exempt from a fixed registration fee for the courses with the exception of the 80 chf to be paid each semester so what they are actually giving you is 1600 chf per chf per month so this is probably towards what well, this is like a stipend that you're given per month and then you are exempted from registration fees so this is definitely a partially funded scholarship it's definitely a partially funded scholarship i do not see uh, a lot of money heading towards tuition fees because tuition fees is always the killer right tuition fees is the killer tuition fees get to be so expensive that you're like oh my god i cannot afford it so although they are giving this amount of money i don't know to what extent what this money can cover can this money cover like your accommodation your feeding we need someone who lives in switzerland to come break it down for us anywho there's always google you can search like what is the cost of living in switzerland and then see how much this money comes to and see how much does that will that help you can it help cover your accommodation can it help cover your feeding can it help you pay like for some uh, like 
uh, necessary bills and then you now have to figure out your tuition and then your flight from wherever you are to switzerland those are questions that you need to be asking yourselves each time you come through a, a partially funded scholarship okay ask yourself okay this is what is given this is what is required how much can i afford right there is those three things this is what is given this is what is required how much can i afford how much can my family afford and then you now make a decision of am i going to pair this scholarship with some other scholarship do i need to apply for this and then apply for some other one so that i can put the money together or this i can come up with the other amount of money all by myself right people's financial situa uh, situations differ so if you can come up with it more power to you that's amazing if you can't drop it and keep it pushing there are so many other scholarships we've been doing one scholarship a day since may 19th and we've always had scholarships to talk about so there are different scholarships if it is if it is not going to satisfy your needs drop it and go to the next one so let's go to the eligibility it says to have obtained you need to have obtained a foreign university degree considered equivalent to a bachelor's of course because it's a master scholarship so they require you to have done your your bachelor's already right and then you need to have distinguished yourself in your studies especially through particularly brilliant academic results so you what this informs us is that this is an academic scholarship they are looking for a's and a's they are looking for those students that are straight a students so you need to Think about, look at your transcripts. How is it looking? How is everyone's transcript looking? And if it is not looking good enough, please do not apply for it because it's going to be a waste of your time. Okay? You need to have the language level of at least B2 according to European Language Portfolio Global Scale in French or English to the language in which your chosen master's is taught. So because this is Switzerland, there are definitely going to be students studying in uh, in English. Some students will be studying in French. So based off of whatever language that you're going to be studying in, they need to make sure that you speak and understand the language to the point where you can do a master's. That's why they say the B2 here. And then uh, you need to not have registered in that university uh, in the past. And then you needed to have paid your 200 chf administration fee okay so this is the information about the scholarship remember our scholarship for uh august 30th is the university of luzon scholarship the university of luzon scholarship in switzerland okay you all know i take notes about the scholarships right because i always need it for quick references later on so i hope you all although you're going to see the links on twitter i hope you all are also taking notes and building up a whole scholarship portfolio of tons of scholarships where you can pick and choose which ones you want to apply for Alrighty, I'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship right now. I am going to go to Twitter. I'm going to tweet it out, tweet it out, tweet it out. For those on Clubhouse, if you have a question or comment, please feel free to raise your hand, come up on stage, and you we can chit chat. And for those that are on club on Instagram, on Facebook, if you have a question, put it in the comment section, and I am going to answer you. So I'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship right now. Y'all know I like to keep one scholarship a day short and sweet because you all have so many things that you all are doing and i don't want to take a lot of your time okay so if you have something a question a comment for those on clubhouse feel free to raise your hand come up on stage and then we can chit chat while i tweet out the link to the scholarship if you do not follow me on twitter that is you need to go follow me on twitter because that is where you're going to find the link to the scholarship i do not send links to scholarships to people in the dms so you, you can always reach out to me if you have any questions, but if you reach out to me asking for links to scholarships, I'm going to direct you to the Twitter feed. So please definitely go to Twitter. And of course, as I told you all, I'm going to take a screenshot of the official page of the scholarship and I'm going to put it in my Instagram story. So you want to double check to make sure that you are on the right scholarship, okay? You're on the right website. So as you follow me on Twitter for the link, Make sure you follow on Instagram also to check the Instagram stories to compare and make sure that you are on the right scholarship page, okay? If not, you are going to be on the wrong page. Alrighty, I have tweeted it out. I've tweeted it out. I've tweeted it out. Everybody, let's all together. Let us go to Twitter. And then we are going to, for those on Clubhouse, just tap my face, scroll right down to the end of the page. You're going to see the link to the Twitter, to the, to the, um, 
you're going to see the the scholarship that i've just tweeted out the unil master's grant in switzerland for foreign students i've seen some of you liking it that's good thank you all so much so like it and also retweet to share with with for those within your network because as i always tell you all you guys so a scholarship most times is about are you a good fit for it if you're not please be a vessel be a vessel to spread the information share it with a friend a brother a sister an auntie an uncle someone in your local church someone in your local community some kid on the block that you know is smart enough tell pull them aside and tell them there is this opportunity you can actually apply for it because sometimes some people just don't have enough information about scholarships some people don't even know that they can get their studies uh paid for like through different agencies okay so if the scholarship is not for you please do well to be a vessel and spread it out as much as possible Alrighty, so no one on clubhouse raised their hands to come up on stage so i as i take that as everyone is fine lauren rosa maxi bo i take it as everyone is fine for those on facebook no one asked a question in the comment section so i take it as everyone is fine and for those that are on instagram no one asked a question so i take it as everyone is fine if you have your scholarship for today august 30th i hope you all check it out see if you're going to be applying for a read or not so thank you guys so much for joining me on one scholarship a day my name is sylvie and i am the founder of learn how to get a scholarship.com learn how to get a scholarship.com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships we do that through group classes through one-on-one -on -one classes and through standalone services so if you're thinking about applying for scholarships and you are confused about it you don't know how to think to to go about it definitely go to their website learn how to get a scholarship.com and you can book and we are going to work with you sometimes some people come to book us just to search for scholarships for me and we definitely search for scholarships for people because most times as i always tell you all with scholarships it is most sometimes it's just are you a good fit for the scholarship or not it is competition a scholarship is competition and you're going shoulder to shoulder with people so you want to pick those scholarships where you have a sense you where your strengths shine through not those scholarships where you are already at a, a at a loss when you are coming straight out the gate that is i always use the, the the analogy of boxing boxing they always say a weight class what weight classes do we have you don't compete with people outside of your weight class right so it is always important that when you are going for scholarship which is also a competition you choose those scholarships that it is within your weight class and you can compete on a fair scale like you're not already you're not struggling to compete with people okay so make sure that you pick those scholarships that are that is going to already give you an advantage when you apply to the scholarship okay Alrighty, i also have a youtube channel you guys i have a youtube channel if you all don't know please know today and if you check my twitter my instagram twitter also you're going to find the links to the youtube channel go there go there everyone i curate scholarships there and i always recommend the series top 10 fully funded series it is where i talk about top 10 fully funded scholarships sometimes top five sometimes top two fully funded scholarships for international students and i always tell you all if if a fully funded scholarship changed my life and i know that if it was able to change my life it can change yours too so just the main thing is getting the information prepping all you need and applying to those scholarships so when you go to the youtube channel binge watch those top that top 10 series take notes start coming up with uh, a list of different scholarships if you binge watch you're going to have at least 15 scholarships that you binge watch them and then you can now start seeing which ones are you going to be applying for and which ones are you not and then you start coming up with application plans and then you apply for these scholarships people always say that pick a few scholarships and drill down and apply to it that is not my philosophy i think that my sweet spot when i when i counsel students i say start preparing for the scholarships one year ahead of time and when you start preparing one year ahead of time you get a strong research proposal good recommendation letters good personal statements and you get all of those things ready you become an environmentalist and all you have to do is go from one scholarship to the next scholarship to the next scholarship submitting all of those strong documents and when you do that by the time you get to 
10 15 scholarships that you've applied for you are going to get one for me it's a numbers game some people do not agree well for me it's a numbers game so y'all definitely go ahead check out those uh top 10 series check out those uh videos take notes and see if you're going to be applying for them or not okay Alrighty, for those on clubhouse please do to click that tiny house above my head go and become a member of the club because they no longer follow clubs on clubhouse go and become a member and each time i have these rooms you are going to be informed we also have rooms on different topics about studying abroad living abroad so you can definitely come back and you're going to get other other kinds of discussions thank you guys so much for joining me on one scholarship a day i'm going to see you all tomorrow this is the start of a week happy monday good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are Y'all, goodbye. Take care. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.